The same warm vibe, the same level of coziness, just with a way, way better view. They're taking grandma's cooking, but just elevating it a notch. So it's familiar yet new. You can create something really special because you have these absolutely unique ingredients. This is the best I've ever been at cooking, bottom line. I'd say that you have to come down and try it. We really want to create something that, that is memorable. It really brings it full circle in Saskatchewan. Agriculture lands on your plate. What Ramey Modern and Hearth are doing in our partnership is, you know, celebrating the richness of Saskatchewan culture. Whoa, that's different. That is what we live for when creating a dish. Facing the South Saskatchewan with this beautiful patio that's going to be a hot spot in the summer in Saskatoon. And they're peeking through the window and they say, oh, that's cool. We think we've made something really special here and that everything that gets put on a plate here is served with intention. I'm Beth Rogers. And I'm Thane Robstad. And we are the co-owners of Hearth Restaurant. On Melrose for probably one of the last times. I think what drives us was wanting to do something meaningful and be a part of the community where we live. All we ever wanted was to be described as a neighborhood gem and to have the community embrace us and want to gather here. And we're so fortunate that that's actually happened for us. And I think our big, big hope is that when we move to the Ramey downtown that we can be Saskatoon's neighborhood spot. We really had a strong interest from multiple vendors, um, some of which were local, provincial and national food and beverage providers. And we were fortunate enough to have Hearth be one of those applicants. It's important for us to be rooted in place here and to reflect the community in which we serve. Um, being able to partner with Hearth, who you know, so strongly represents Saskatchewan hospitality and uh, culinary expertise was just a natural fit for us. Of course we're terrified. Yeah, crippled with amazing... Fear and anxiety. Fear and anxiety. We got our dream. We got our little successful restaurant and we've just chucked it up in the air. Yeah. It's terrifying. Absolutely swinging for the fences here. What we're sitting in right now was working exactly right. What if no one comes downtown? Yeah, for sure. Absolutely screwed. Yeah. What if no one likes lunch? Too oh bad. God, what if no one likes lunch? Lunch is so hard. At Ramey Modern, we're in a new chapter here and it's important to us that we reflect the region and the people that call this area home. And Hearth has very much been a part of that much larger goal for us. We're excited to keep building on our partnership and to really highlight the best of Saskatoon from food to culture and to the community in which we serve. We just hope to acquire as many of the most excellent things that are grown, raised, foraged, or created here in our province and then bring them here and apply them to what we do. The connections that we can make to the purveyors are so important to us. Whether it's a person who raises cattle, whether it's a person who picks mushrooms. Kevin and Melanie from Pineview Farms are like kindred spirits. We're in different fields, but they do the same thing that we do. Well, I think sustainable and ethical farming has been important to us because over our farming careers, we've seen a need and a spot in the market for what we do. It fits with our personal passions and philosophy about the food we like to eat, how it should taste and how it should be grown. And quite frankly, we want to do something better for the world, for our children. And so we look to sustainability as a way for us both environmentally, economically and socially to grow our community and really connect people with their food. 
Well, we love Hearth because we love to eat and we love good food. It's just a natural fit. We've known Beth and Thane for many years. We are good friends and we believe in what they're doing and the passion they have for taking good food grown well and creating something beautiful with it. And I think that's really where beauty is in life for all of us. The pleasure of gathering around the table, sharing good food, sharing good drink. That's where community happens and where people connect. And anytime we can be a part of that, we are totally thrilled. We've learned a lot from them, from Kevin and Melanie at Pineview and from John and Barb at Black Fox. Like, we look up to these people and it's incredible and special to have someone to call, someone to commiserate with, someone to ask advice of, someone to help when you need it. When we first opened Hearth, we had no money. And um, I remember calling John and saying, may I please have some glass bottles um, that I will fill with water and pretend is gin to put on the back bar because it's currently empty. And he laughed and a couple hours later showed up with a truckload of booze that I don't even know if we ever saw an invoice for he it. He wouldn't let us pay for that for a year, I think. Just wouldn't let it. You know, one of the best things that we've got going for us at Black Fox is being able to farm and distill and create amazing products here in, in Saskatchewan. I see a lot of similarities between Black Fox and Hearth. We really both embrace the Saskatchewan ingredients that are here and local. It all feels very prairie too. We're helping each other and it just, it, when we lived in other places, it didn't always feel that sensation of community like we do here. We had a really great design team. Everyone was involved. Beth and Thane of Hearth were involved. The CEOs from the Ramey were involved, Oxbow Architecture and myself. And we made most of the design decisions as a team and mostly by consensus. So we had a strong vision to start with to create the warmth, welcoming place that Hearth is known for in this modern contemporary gallery. I was in the vault room up there. Like again, pinch me moment. Like. They're pulling out these huge slats of all these original works. And just the smell in this place is like, it's intoxicating. But then this thing just came out in this huge, you know, 10 foot tall, rolled out on wheels. I was like, that's the one, that's the one for sure. One of the design opportunities in the space was a very large white wall at the end, total blank canvas. And then when we were choosing the artwork to go in the space from the Ramey's collection, the one that stood out the most to put up right away was the William Perhudoff painting. We have, I think, 33 of his works in our collection, so we're really proud of that. Uh, and so putting the, the work on display is a way of sort of letting people know about the strength of our collection and the importance of this artist in particular. It's just sunshine and sunset at the end of the restaurant, and it's beautiful. One of my favorite furniture elements in this space is the local elm wood tabletops, locally sourced reclaimed elm wood from the streets of Saskatoon, done by Aaron and Jarrett Anderson, local woodworkers. They're beautiful, they warm up the space, and everyone loves them. We've had a great partner in Rainy Modern, and I think their values really align with ours, and it's made the relationship really easy. For the Ramey to support local means it's really uh, living into its true intention and what it was intended to be. It's another gathering spot for the community to enjoy beauty, to enjoy art and food. Beauty comes in all different ways and forms and I think the Ramey can really step into that and fill that need in Saskatoon. And connection again, and it's connection from the farm to the restaurant to people to art. I think that that just grows something wonderful in Saskatoon that that's needed for us to appreciate what we have and this place in which we live. What Hearth is doing is really showcasing and celebrating the richness of what the Prairie Region has to offer and it's evident in every dish that they put out to their customers. Actually be able to utilize everything that you possibly can and make something out of what a lot of people would consider a byproduct is the best thing about chefing and the thing that I find the most enjoyment out of. Yeah. I, I love turning into like a dish that like, wows people out of literally nothing. I feel like a, an alchemist. <laughs> the beef stroganoff has kind of evolved like all dishes do here over time. The way in which we cut the potato, how we fry it, the, 
individual garnishes. Everything has to make it out to the dining room, so is it structurally sound? Are things laid out in such a way so that they're not going to fall over? Is it visually appealing? Is it dynamic? Food is art as well, so you know, just watching the different dishes that they put out and the creativity behind it, I think is really closely aligned with the creativity and the art uh, that you see on display here in the building. Okay, so popcorn fries. So it's like a weird blend of the two things, a nostalgic kind of variation on kettle corn, buttered popcorn, and then an Italian version of polenta fries. So you have the honey, you have the popcorn, and you have the parm to kind of weirdly blend it all together. It ends up working, and I think it hits a lot of nostalgic notes for people. And that's my favorite kind of dish to make. We've never been a downtown restaurant before, and that's like a whole new vibe. So that's been a big learning curve for us, but I think we're, we're starting to get the hang of that, and we're doing every day a little bit better than the day before. You need to get something from the main kitchen and bring it back downstairs to the finishing kitchen. Like, that's three minutes, maybe five minutes. So, you know, if you need that to put on someone's plate to send out, that's huge. How many times do you have to do that in a night? How many times does that multiply? And suddenly you've lost three hours in walking around. But you get a great butt from going up and down those stairs. Do you ever? So. Damn. Well, the whole crew just really leveling up in that. <laughs> no point. Oh, we're going to get canceled. I care deeply about the project of Hearth and what we do here. We want to be the best all the time and the pressure is there with a backbone of support from everyone that we work with. We believe in Saskatchewan, we believe in good food grown well, and we'd like to prove that it can be done. It feels just like Hearth, always did, but just leveled up. And yes. that, is, that is incredible to hear. You're greeted by the Hearth staff right away. They're so hospitality forward and they're so inviting and welcoming. We were very big supporters of Hearth One. Now we're going to Hearth Two and it can only be bigger and bolder and better. Everything has just layered to be a very comfortable, welcoming space that Hearth is known for. Yeah, people are loving the patio. It has, I think it's one of the nicest patios in the city with one of the nicest views. The people watching is crazy. I think there was actually a troop of mimes out there a couple weeks ago doing a whole performance while people ate dinner, which is amazing. And then in the background is just the river and the beautiful river valley. Beth and Thane and Nico are knocking it out of the park. Very, very proud of them and we hope they have great success. I think it's the culmination of everything that the Remy Modern wants to be, which is connected to the community and showing people beauty. And Hearth's specialty is taking good food and making it beautiful. It's the food, it's the service staff, it's the whole vibe you create. I'm incredibly proud of the work that we've, that we've done and the, the whole team has done from the restaurant to the events. Like we are just on another level from where we were before, and we're getting better every day. Yeah.